Who is to blame for this mess? You know who I blame? The weather, Putin, the Germans. To be clear though and blunt, your very vision for Britain is dead, isn't it? No, it's not too late, son. We can still have flying cars, a unicorn per person, and porky pig on the flag. Mm. You belittled tre treasury orthodoxy. Oh, that sounded anti-Semitic. I'll have you know I get Chilala Loaf from Jacob down the ice street every Tuesday. Well, I guess that's his name. You know, he's got one of those funny little words, so he must be something. Do you still believe what you believed before? I'll tell you what I believe in. Free spam, a pork market museum, a dress made of cheese, and breaking the world blinking record without you knowing. Was Rishi Sunak right all along? Well, if you're talking about last Tuesday's episode of Countdown, I beat him fair and square. If, however, you're talking about our plans for growth and the economic stability of the country, then I will hypnotise you with my blinking. Oh, God, look how fast they go! Woo! Lots of people are facing massive increases in mortgage payments, and analysts say at least some of that is because of what you've done in the last five or six weeks. What do you say to them? Well, as their leader that they almost definitely didn't vote for, I can do what I want, can't I? So well, that's democracy. Ah! Do you accept that you have then made it worse? Well, I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. He's in prison now, isn't he? Ugh. You're now leading a government that's executing an agenda that you don't even believe in. Well, yeah, but I like this job. Why would I give it up? Good pay, lovely desk, lots of room to hide under. And if I press a button, a man will arrive with cheese that I can eat. Do you feel humiliated? Oh, I've done worse things, mate. Pool party with me. Barrymore, Cameron, and three little pigs. All I have to say is there was way too much huffing and puffing for my liking. Has it been harder country. than you could possibly have imagined? Oh, you dirty bugger. No, next question. Tell me about the sacking of Quasi Quarteng. Oh, it was funny, <laughs> would it? He's a lovely man. Really big hands. I'll miss those. Are you sticking around because you want to stick around or because you're waiting for your party to find a successor? Well, everything on TV right now, just shit in it. Got nothing better to do, so yeah, just going to hang about. And will you lead the Conservatives into the next general election? Are you having a laugh? People are betting that a cabbage is going to last longer than me. If I were you, I'd put a fiver on that cabbage before it's too late. Prime Minister, thank you.